What to, Chris? Uh, Manny in Biloxi on the line. Hey, down in Biloxi. Hey, Manny, how you doing? Hey, Mr. Paul. Good to have you, boy. Good to, uh, good to hear your voice there, brother. Yeah. You're still kicking. Yeah, man, I'm still here. Listen, uh, uh, it ain't the uh, fishing game that's against these uh, dog hunters. It, it's the U.S. forestry people. Well, uh, they are the ones that, according to uh, Major Clark, they are the ones that instigated the collars down in uh, southwest Mississippi. Uh, uh, you know, the dog hunters, and here's the thing about it, man, is some of the dog hunters abuse their right and, and mess, you know. But that's just a few. I don't think the majority of the dog hunters do that. But, you know, it, and dogs can't read signs and you can't. I guess, Woody, it's putting them off right there on somebody's land is a big that's, problem. That's the big thing right there. Well, you know, uh, I'm right there on the uh, west side of Leaf River. Yeah. And we got the Florida gas line that goes through there. And uh, them old boys, they hunt on the uh, the, the north side of, uh, of the gas line, but then dogs. And, and they and they got all, all them good uh, roads, them logging roads, pushed up so them dog hunters can't go in there and cut the dogs off. Now, uh, they they did this probably two or three years ago. Now why did they do that? Well, they don't want they they don't want the dogs in the woods. They don't want them deer dogs in the woods. Well, that ain't a dog's gonna jump that pile. No, they don't want no they don't want no deer dogs on national forestry land. Well, maybe now, so, but them pi- them piles of dirt they ain't gonna keep them dogs out. It, it keeps them it, it'll keep them uh, dog hunters from going down in there. And cutting their dogs off. I see what you mean. And if they could get down in there and cut their dogs off, them dogs wouldn't go over on these private people property land such as me and my neighbors. Yeah. Which I don't have no squawk with them, you know. Yeah. But some of these folks have got food plots and all that stuff in there on their land, and they got deer, and they and they still hunt on them. And a pack of dogs run through that and messes the whole works up. Yeah. So it, this is just the next step right here. Uh, with this tracking collar thing. Yeah. That tracking collar it, it is only made for one thing only, and that's for the dog hunter to try to find his dog after the race is over with. Yeah, they can't stop the dog with it with a tracking collar if he's chasing a deer, huh? No, it ain't going to stop. Ain't no way. I mean, uh, uh, <laughs> if that dog comes on my property with a tracking collar on him, I don't know whose dog he is yeah. until I look at the tag on his collar, and I can see the name. Yeah. That tracking collar's a bunch of bull. Okay. Now, would it? Now, he says the tracking collar. What it, then why are they doing a the tracking collar? What's the purpose of the tracking collar, in your opinion? Well, Paul, I think a lot of these folks, well, I ain't going to say a lot of them, but I think some of these folks would just gather up dogs, turn them loose to get, get a race going, get the deer stirred up and moving, and when it was all said and done and over, you know, well, they're not my dogs, so why should I pick them up? Well, yeah, now, but you nobody going to leave a $100,000 well, dog in the woods. But I'm saying, what is the purpose of the tracking collar? He's right, Manny, unless it's just to find a dog. Well, that's that's, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Now, well. with the tracking collar on there, you have to know where your dog is at so you can go get him. Well, okay. Yeah, yeah, but the deal is, is when he crosses across that logging road that you can't go down, he enters into them people's private property. Okay, then you got to take the other main road that goes in there to them people's property and go in there and talk to the landowner and listen to him about That's what so your bad. dog did to his cat or his, uh, his, his whatever he's got in there. <laughs> and the, and the, the national uh-huh. forestry people are creating a great havoc okay manny manny you made a good point we got a lot of callers i'm glad you called in don't wait so long next time let's see what somebody else got to say huh i gotta go eat my fried fish oh man well we need to get on down there take us three hours don't let it get away huh (laughs) it won't be here by then boy all right thank you man